Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, Thursday the 7th of March. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. As always, uh, the sites get free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen here. It's by you coming back, using the site, that's what keeps us free of charge. And by using the charts and follow us on Twitter uh, and Facebook, that's what keeps us all free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Now, uh, the hot story... <laughs> Yeah, hot story. Get what I did there? Is uh, is cold weather that's on its way um, during the course of this weekend? Um, just show you what's going on here. These are the top temperatures for today. You can see nines, tens across many parts of the country, six to eight across Scotland. As for tomorrow. Uh, if we just go on to uh, tomorrow's maximum temperatures, 10 to 13s across the south, but colder air looks starting to get in here into Scotland. And then if we knock it on a little bit further for Saturday, while that colder air has started to drift southwards, look, 3 to 5 degrees, milder air just holding on in the southwest. But just look at this for Sunday. Maximum temperatures for Sunday barely rising above freezing across much of England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Down for Southern Ireland and southern coast of England, we're looking about 4 to 5 degrees, just the far southwest holding on to those milder temperatures so certainly we have got this cold weather on the way not only cold weather but we have snow to contend with as well now this is the GFS forecast of snow which I think overdoes it a little bit um, but just to give you the impression of what's going on this is uh, this is the forecast for uh, six o'clock Friday evening and you notice that there's some snow here <coughs> across the high ground of Scotland now as we go through Friday into Saturday you notice that comes southwards but watch what happens on Saturday afternoon it's raining by Saturday afternoon through this sort of area here cold air is coming in but then watch what happens just look at that Saturday afternoon suddenly we start to find snow developing across parts of the Midlands, Northern England as well, that continues into the evening. Now this is snow forecast amount in centimetres, eight to 10 centimetres. I think that's over high ground, low levels, a few places two or three centimetres possibly generally most are going to get dusting but it goes to show how cold the atmosphere becomes it puts even more down into the early part of Sunday morning and it leaves the snow there through much of Sunday I think most of it as I say is going to be over high ground not at low levels but the threat is there and it's this area here between it, well it's kind of from tomorrow evening through to Sunday morning that we've got that main risk is on its way within that area so I think that's where we need to be aware also if you are doing any walking or climbing particularly again within this area during this weekend be very very careful you're going to have cold you're going to have wind and you're going to have snow which could lead to blizzard conditions at times it will be bitterly bitterly cold it is not a good weekend for climbing and walking across these eastern parts of the country. Just be aware of that uh, during the course of this weekend. Okay, so this is how the pressure chart looks. We've got low pressure centred out here towards the west. We've got high pressure up here towards the north. And this is the feed of rain that's coming to the south at the moment. Bits of it coming up north as well. So as we go through into uh, Friday, notice this second area low pressure developing here. That moves into southeast England during the course of Friday itself. Now, this could bring an area here within this zone here, perhaps of 10 to 15 millimetres of rain during tomorrow. But the interesting feature is this feed of cooler air that comes into eastern Scotland and north east England. During the course of tomorrow that starts to feed in ever colder air from the north east. You still see this area of rain here. Overnight into uh, Saturday we've still got the area of more persistent rain lying through here. This starting to slip its way eastward but these temperatures falling off all the time. So rain will turn to snow first of all across eastern Scotland then across northeastern England then through the Midlands area on Saturday afternoon. Again we're not thinking white out at low levels could be white out at high levels but we're not thinking that at low levels it will be this gradual turning to snow and as this more moderate rain moves its way westwards during the course of Saturday afternoon Saturday evening this area here is where we see the main snow risk so we're looking at only wintry into Sunday again it's this area here just to reiterate it's that area there that's most at risk of rainfall of snowfall most of it looks to be within the Midlands East Anglia parts of uh, southern Yorkshire uh, as well so Nottinghamshire Leicestershire Lincolnshire that sort of area Derbyshire these areas look to be most at risk from snow and by Sunday we'll find snow showers just moving into eastern Scotland northeast England best of the conditions always out towards the west the music you can hear there is actually the, the iMac deciding to sing to you. Um, so, uh, best of the conditions always out towards the west there. But I want you to notice as well, look how close together the ice bars are. This is Sunday afternoon. This is going to drag in strong winds. Put that over the top of those cold temperatures. It will feel 
bitterly cold and it looks like into Monday we still keep this feed of northeasterly winds and this feed of snow showers coming into the east through Monday uh, and also snow showers uh, northern and eastern Scotland during the course of Monday itself very cold then into Tuesday and I should say as well Monday night looks absolutely bitterly cold as high pressure builds in I think we could be seeing lows somewhere of around of minus eight into Monday morning and then through Monday itself ridge of high pressure builds in we get a northerly flow still some snow showers down the eastern coast the high pressure stays with us through Tuesday but what it does Tuesday evening is it brings in lower pressure in towards the north again that's going to be dragging its way southwards and that low pressure area then moves south into Thursday look here it is coming southwards on Thursday it moves ever southwards and it starts to produce snow again northern england northern ireland the northern midlands through thursday afternoon and eventually through thursday evening if this timings are correct that moves across the midlands and well so there could be more snow on the way for the back end of the week before high pressure builds in and in fact on the snow forecast if we go forward a little bit look you'll see what happens we see a melting taking place during wednesday and into the early part of thursday with milder westerly winds coming in then this happens look down comes the snow again during Thursday evening and overnight into Friday. So we see uh, further snow at the end of the week. And this just hinting at this cold weather just persisting into uh, the end of the week. So what happens beyond that? Well, this is the 15th. OK, so this is the period we've just seen. Look in the 500 millibar flow here at this trough. We've got a ridge out here towards the west. This trough being constantly fed by this cold air. Now, I don't think much is going to happen with that trough. We're going to find a secondary one coming in here from the west. Ridge tries to build through, but it just doesn't get in. This cold air defeats it. It pushes it off back towards the south, and it allows a secondary trough to come in from the west as we get towards the uh, the period of around about the 17th to the 20th so we've got fairly mixed conditions coming through then but then watch what happens this secondary ridge gets itself established it pumps warm air northwards it builds the ridge it builds pressure all the time so that by the 21st 22nd we are seeing this ridge come in and i think this is the start of my drier better end to march however western ireland western scotland I think there you're always at risk of getting some rain, some fronts brushing in from the Atlantic, but elsewhere I, I'm starting to get more convinced of this better end to the month. And the CFS picks up on that idea too. And you can see how the temperatures just rise up here on the uh, on the CFS. Look, you see uh, here we are. This is the cold air coming in uh, towards the uh, towards the end. Uh, sorry towards the end of this weekend yeah into the beginning of the next week and then we see uh, a rise in temperature taking place and that continues uh, towards the end of the month it's this period here that I'm more interested in and that continues into early April as well I think this this chart probably goes something like this there's the cool off I think it warms up slowly like so then we see a main warm here at the end of the month which hangs on into the early part of April and then we see the dip down there in early April that's the way I think temperatures will go uh, towards the end of the month so lots and lots of information there for you once again thanks again for uh, watching hopefully that's been useful for you remember we kept free of charge by the adverts here around the screen here by you coming back using the site using the adverts that's what keeps us free of charge so thank you for doing that and whatever you do keep the sun shining bye for now